Hey guys, Tyler here. Uh, recently I've been getting a lot of questions about where I get my income from or how I get so much money to defend rushes like you may have seen in the how to defend every rush video. I touched up a little bit on getting income at the end. My thought this time around, uh, we can show it in action with a live com, which I... is going to be interesting. I'm terrible at playing while live comming and hopefully I get just a middle of the road map. Yeah, A, a game's decent. I mean, we can make A game work. Um, so, unfortunately, my playing is going to be definitely subpar. Ooh, that is sexy. Alright. But, uh, hopefully it should convey the general idea of how I just get income. So, the basic idea is mixed eco, which is part farms and part balloons. Uh, very first thing you do, once you get a thousand on hundred dollars, is just get that first one or zero zero farm you know, somewhere in a spot where you can conveniently place a monkey farmer, then pop lots and lots of guys. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get dart monkey here. It's debatable, but you know it works. So I'm gonna place that there and get my farm up to one zero just to prepare for a round two, and then just start sending red balloons. Now we start getting up the income. This is where the balloon eco part comes in. You want to get balloon eco early on, and then follow it up with a farm eco. Uh, it's easier said than done, but uh, you get used to it. He's like not gonna send me too many balloons. He just sent a few, probably just harass and try to get me to upgrade stuff. But yeah, you're going to be constantly sending red balloons uh, once you get them and until you can send blue balloons. Sometimes you'll have money left over. Well, no, you will always have money left over. And this money left over should go straight into towers. As you can see, I have a triple darts right now. I have it in the stalling position too, like far off in the track so the round can last as long as possible. This way, uh, I'll be able to t take more advantage of the balloon income. To be honest, maybe I should just put it up here. I feel here's overall a better spot. I just saw this spot in a Blaze It video. I'm like, eh, I'll give it a shot. See what happens. All right, we're going to put this on strong as well. Uh, so I would normally be upgrading, you know, stopping uh, income just so I can upgrade my second dark monkey. But it's, the pinks really are not that big a threat right now. He's just trying to get me to spend money. He's not going to commit to pinks. Uh, only, like, complete jackknobs will basically sell all their farms and just mass spam around four pinks and even if they do that you'll be fine with just these two towers so eventually eventually i'm gonna have about 400 uh spare dollars that's when i'll upgrade my second dart monkey actually in this case i might not but if they do like harass with pinks or if they send blues if they're also mixed eco then you do have to slow down uh just a bit so you can uh, purchase the triple darts upgrade for your second dart monkey so now is getting to the point where we're getting close to stopping the blue Nico. Dropping them some greens, because those, you know, uh, do well against dark monkeys, then just the, some pinks to layer with it. But that's not really going to do much. It's not going to harm them much. So now, now that we stopped in income, we want it between like 425 and 450. We actually went pretty high this time, which is nice. Pretty high indeed. So now we can just go farms. I really like getting the 2 zero farms after 1 zero as opposed to getting multiple 1 zeros. Because one two zero farm gets one more banana per round than two of his one zeros, which, you know, it adds up. It's pretty useful. The only downside is it's more costly to sell a two zero farm in defense than it is to sell a one zero farm. But we're going with the um, idea that we're not going to have to sell any farms to defend. Generally, if he like pushes with yellows right now, I, I can just straight up afford defense. Um, if he sends a lot more, I'll boost. He really wants me to boost. All right, I'll boost now. Pretty late, I know, but he just kept going. He's still sending yells. Yeah, good thing I boosted, I guess. Um, that works for me, though. So there's almost no way he's gonna do a secondary rush. Almost no way. I should have been getting that farm earlier. That uh, hurt me a bit, but we'll be all right. I upgraded my Dark Monkey's range instead of the more bananas. I am a dumbass. Uh, great quality play here. I guess I'll drop this guy single lead. See what he does. Uh, get, get him to waste a little bit of money, right? So generally by round 10, uh, I should have bought this earlier, but you want three two zero farms. That's the goal amount. Um, sometimes you can be a bit greedier and get more. I don't know if he's going to rush me. I don't think he should. I have bomb tower. Bomb towers are great against uh, round 11 rushes like this. So I'm actually just going to get uh, triple darts. I'm actually going to upgrade him to camo too. Just for safety, get a couple extras, get a dart monkey on top. That'll become my juggernaut. Get these guys. Extra safety. He... All right. And sell this for my juggernaut. So we're fine now. And honestly, we should be super fine against rushes. Now, look at where we are right now. 
Uh, we probably have a little bit more defense than him. We have the, we have the Juggernaut. He doesn't, so we'll be safe, or you know, really good for mid-game rushes. And plus Camel Leads, if I maybe decide to send it, I might actually drop him with uh, one group of Camel Leads um, at the beginning of round 15. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad idea. Get him by that and some, you know, extra stuff. Hell, I'll let you do it now. Do this, drop him with a few zebras. But in addition, we also have more farmage. We also have uh, a lot more balloon eco in general. He's gonna have to boost here if he wants to defend this, by the way. If he doesn't, he's dead. Even still, I guess he's leaking quite a bit. Feels good. Didn't even rush him that hard. He actually had to sell a farm for that too, which means we're in a really, really nice position. Um, I'm not gonna be that guy in secondary rush though. I really feel like could punish him, but this map is super long, so I don't know if I'd get away with it. It's, it's debatable. If it was a shorter map like cards, I would for sure do a follow-up rush, uh, but not this time around. What was that? <laughs> he tried to drop me with some balloons. It did not work out for him. Anyways, now you want to get two, or sorry, six two zero farms. Then after that, then you can upgrade one of your farms to the three zero. At this point, you can start saving up for the four two farm. You want about five thousand dollars. So then, what you can do is sell all of them except for, well, sell four of your farms and get a four two. So I'm gonna do that right now. The reason why I keep this is, well, uh, yeah, so I can sell and get extra defense if needed. I'm just gonna boost right here. Should be alright. Yeah, there we go. Boost if needed. I actually may not have even needed to sell the farm. I just straight up had money. Uh, what's he doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna get more dart monkeys, bro. You're still not, like, safe against... <laughs> I mean, my defense is still really good against Moabs. I mean, he's trying to harass me, but that's... Yeah, it's not gonna work out for him. I'm actually gonna drop him some more mid-game harassment. Um, see if he spends... Make him spend money on defense instead of his farm. This actually builds income for me. Which is really nice. Oh, I should have sent pinks earlier. Feels bad. Oh, he's gonna boost. He might boost. He might just die too. Boost, boy. Ah, oh, damn, he has balls. That's fine though, because we still have the 4 2 farm and we still have a lot more income. I think he's selling to get. Oh, he might be rushing. Oh, I think he's sending a BFB. 100% he's sending a BFB. Otherwise, he would have sold the rest of his farms. Yep, there it is. Uh, we're gonna just save up money. Oh, crap. I just realized this whole time I, I got head 4 0, not 4 2. Oh, that feels bad. Um, I'm actually not going to sell my second farm then. I'm just going to flat out get the man club. Activate it. Take this th take this guy down. Should be pretty easy. Not even selling farms. Not even boosting. We just casually have that kind of money. <laughs> and my phone is disconnected. So that's how you know you're just up in money. The reason why he surrendered is because when I just have this sort of monetary advantage, it snowballs hardcore into the late game, making it easier for me to buy money to defend rushes, to send rushes, to do both at the same time. It's quite interesting, and, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I guess he just wanted out. I mean, he could have fucking surrendered, but no, he had just disconnect. Thanks, bro. So, once this is over, I'm gonna show you guys one more game, then I'm gonna do pure balloon eco. It's, like, not the most effective, but I'm just gonna kind of go through an example of people going with balloon eco. Not gonna lie, that was a bit of a longer map. I could afford to be a bit more greedy on that map if I was on cards or... Fuck, what's a, what's a short map besides cards that you do the strategy on? The cards is like the only, like, is, the, is by far the shortest map, I think. Or the hardest map to do the strategy on. Whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking too hard right now. Swan Lake, I mean, we could play that map. Wouldn't be fantastic for my strategy, but I could pull it off. Nah, I'm just gonna skip it. I'd rather not play this map. Oh god, he's gonna he's gonna take Battle River, isn't he? That's fine, I guess. Hopefully, we'll just beat him mid game with our superior economy advantage. All right, so we didn't get too many great mid game towers. Cobra is actually somewhat decent mid game, but it's not fantastic. Like it can misdirect VFBs. Yet, what the fucking do? Wouldn't recommend in general. But we're gonna do the same thing again. Uh, and this might be a longer map than a game, so we can be even greedier. We can start out with the 0, zero farm, get our farmer. Oh, and I totally forgot that I had the custom emotes. Ah, uh, feels good. LUL. Uh, I actually got check pack 2, but I think that's the standard pack, so nothing special about that. But I can tell my opponents, like, kill themselves if I want. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, they can't see it. From their side, I'm saying, like, oops or something stupid, you know, whatever comes with the original chat pack. 
It's only me that can say it, but, you know, if he, says, he emotes anything, you know, I'll feel good about it. Feel good, indeed. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep, uh, keep ecoing just like normal. Mixed eco. This is a long map, too. It actually benefits eco over farms. In general. Because the rounds will last longer. And farms don't care about how long the rounds last. So as farm user, you would generally want shorter rounds. As an economy user, you would generally want longer rounds. But the main reason why you can greed so hard is also because the map is long. Uh, the, your towers will do better. They'll have more time to shoot the balloons. I have some leftover money. I might as fucking well just get a second dart monkey. I could upgrade my farm, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to commit to the mixed eco. I'm just going to keep doing what I always do and not try anything too ballsy today. No siree, not at all. Now, you see how he absolutely had to get the second triple dart monkey in order to defend against the blues. That's huge because that's $900 he could be spending on farms, but isn't. So he's a lot behind on farms, at least compared to how he would be doing if it was a farm versus farm game. So you kind of bring him down to your level. Eventually we'll be able to catch up with him in farms and we'll just have the overall advantage and it'll feel super good. Sometimes really good players can kind of screw with it, but again, that's where skill comes in. I mean, this isn't a catch-all strategy. You still have to, you know, come in with skill. And that's technically where I lack, but it'll come with playing a few games. I'm also not going to send pinks this time around. I know for a fact these dart monkeys, three of them are going to defend these balloons. Not even going to bother. It actually makes no difference. So we'll just uh, go with this and start upgrading our farms. This is a map, actually, where I can get away with selling dart monkeys to get more farms. However, you probably want one triple dart at almost all times. I could be so greedy right now and sell my triple dart for a second farm. But I don't know. I'd, I'd rather have something at all times. He is sending me pink balloons. Pink balloons. Out of all things. I guess I'll get a second triple dart. I mean, it's not a bad timing anyways. Should defend it just fine. Hopefully he'll stop. Maybe. No, he's not going to stop. He's just going to be that cock. <laughs> All right, you do you, man. Again, not rushing him round eight. Uh, it really would not do that much. So we're just going to chill like this. Yeah, there we go. Now we finally stopped sending. So I'm going to actually sell this. I'm just going to flat out sell my dart monkey. It's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're officially useless now. You've become a farm. And very shortly, very, very shortly, actually. There we go. We are now officially equal in farms with this guy. He may have a couple hundred bucks uh, casually in spare, but he also just spent that on a bomb tower. So we're not doing too bad. Uh, it feels good. This is a map I could probably get away with one more farm up here. Got to get a goddamn monkey farmer, though. I'm going to just place you in the middle. Hope it's good. Oh. Actually, I'm going to place up here. Here's not a bad spot. Yeah, and he's not really pressuring me in any way. So I guess I can feel fine with uh, just going for farms. I can get another one over here, too. I'm being really hella greedy right now. I, I, sh I should probably stop. Uh, he's going dart farm bomb, so I have no reason to rush him. Currently, or hell, even around 13, he should perfectly be fine. Also, this unfortunate mishap happening. He's rushing me with regen yellows. <laughs> regen yellows, boys. Ugh. I gotta make sure I don't fuck up though, because there's actually very little space to place your dart monkeys. You can screw up uh, if you're not prepared. So pay attention to my opponent's farm, see if he sells them. If he sells them, uh, sell your own farms for defense. Um, Nah, I'm just gonna go for income. I'm gonna greed out. And I think five is the maximum amount of farms you can fit on this map, if I'm not mistaken. So that means I have to go for uh, double three zero farms. So I'm gonna get... uh. I'm going to get them one up here and one down here. This one's going to become my 4-2 farm. And when you sell your farms, you sell the 3-0 and everything except for 1-2-0. That's the general idea. Damn, he's got a lot of uh, a lot of towers going for him. I'm actually just going to keep placing a couple 0, zero dot monkeys just to be safe. Because again, placing towers on this map is a genuine pain. It's like, come on, there's a tiny space in here. I know you can fit it in. And by that time, you're just dead. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be unprepared. Again, waiting for $5,000, then I just sell my farms and go ham. Uh, <laughs> being real greedy, though. He's spending a lot of money on pink balloons. I guess he's committing to that mixed eco lifestyle. However, that isn't going to actually do much for him. I don't think he's actually trying to pressure me or anything. He's literally just trying to get defense up. Um, and actually, um, what I might do is just sell some dart monkeys to get a better farm. There we go, yeah. 
There we go. I'd much rather get 900 per banana crate than 600. You know, there's a pretty decent sized difference, to say the least. Again, I'm still not going to rush him. I'm just going to grind him out. Uh, just this this money advantage is huge right now. I think it's going to send a mod. So I'm going to prepare a little bit for that. Hell, I'll even get a bomb tower up here. Put this guy. I'm going to leave him on first, though. Mod mod should be on first at all times. So I'm going to just chill like this. Um, maybe I could do some camos. It just doesn't seem right. I'm going to get a second uh, four zero farm, then I'm going to harass him. He's going the good old flash route, Banana Republic this shit up. That's not going to work out as well for him because four two farms and four zero farms are just so much better than these guys, at least as far as mobile gameplay is concerned. It's such a huge difference. I can sell this just about now. There we go. There we go. Give me that factory. Now we got two factories. He has none. Uh, so I actually, once I get this to 4-2, I'm just going to start harassing him. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to harass him with camos now. He just s sunk about $4,000 into a uh, tower that cannot detect camos. So, yes, of course, I'm going to harass him now. Camo. Get a little bit more money. Then I'll just drop a bunch of leads his way. Camo leads. Uh, a few zebras. And followed up with pinks. So this is literally the rush I would do uh, on like round 15. But camo-wise because, again, he's, he's got to get camo detection. There's the boost. Still might die? Nah, I don't think so. Ah, this is, he sent me a lot of balloons. I didn't even notice this. See, this is what happens uh, when I play. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I just don't pay attention. He's actually getting a lot more defense right now. He's getting up to you, Juggernauts. He is prepared for the rerush. So I'm saying fuck it. Not today. Alright, more dart monkeys. I require them. Okay, I guess we're not getting them, though. As much as I require dart monkeys, I can't actually seem to get them where I want them, so again, I'm just going to grind them out. I'm going to get this the spike bolt. I'm going to get this the spike bolt as well. Just so I can make sure I have certain dart monkeys for the fan club. Man club. Yep, that's 10. Perfect. So we're just going to carry this out to late game. We're going to kill him with ZOMGs, basically. Oh, he got a he got a four two farm. What a baller! Shot caller. About time, dude. <laughs> Way ahead of you there. Hell, I should even considering selling my uh, four two cannon, but it's probably not worth it. It <laughs> definitely isn't worth it. And we'll just keep going. We're gonna go for probably five. Well, yeah, no shit, five. Five is the most I can get. He actually probably has more balloon income than me at this point. He sent a bunch of pinks over the course of the game. So, I mean, good for him. I'm not going to because I'm probably going to ZOMG rush him around 27 or so. Or once I, you know, get the money rolling in, then I'm just going to ZOMG rush him. And honestly, he's going to have a real hard time. What's my... Ah, Cobra. Cobra actually might be good to get up if he decides to counter rush with fast goal on BFPs. Just get a crap ton of those abilities and, uh... Yeah, misdirect them all. It's like, yeah, I had fun defending those ZOMGs. Yeah, now you're going to defend BFPs too. Jeez, it took a while to get that fourth farm up. Long, long time. And let's get this guy up, our final farm. God, this map is just so weird. He is a semen shooter. Yeah, look at, okay. Let, let me tell you guys, all right? I made a rant video about the semen shooter, but people are like, oh my God, it's so good to beat ceramics. Here's the thing. This guy 100% will always beat ceramics. He is a 4-2 cannon. 4-2 cannons are great against lots of great balloons. Juggernauts are amazing against ceramics. No matter how many ceramics I send against this guy, without the glue gunners, he'll defeat the ceramics 100%. The glue, glue gunners do not help him in any way. Oh, but they slow down the balloons. They don't need to be slowed down. He has an excellent defense already, and he's just doing a money sink. Like, look at how my 4-2 uh, cannon is just destroying everything. Hell, I don't even have juggernauts. I guess I should get them. Juggernauts are probably useful, since I have all this money now. And they are so good. And I'm actually just going to get a few bomb towers of my own uh, for, you know, defensive purposes. Oh, come on. I could fit one in here a couple seconds ago. There we go. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to be getting that, uh, I'm going to be getting, <laughs> uh, getting enough money to ZOMG bomb this guy pretty soon. Looking forward to that. Hype, hype. I'm just upgrading everything I can at this point. I'd rather be safe than anything else. 
Again, the, 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 the number one uh, priority I have during live comms is just playing it safe because I don't have the reaction time I would in a normal battle. So, anyways, we going ham on this. I'm gonna drop them a single ZMG. Uh, the first one's a space because it costs <laughs> 1,000 less. I know, frugal as fuck. Uh, saving that money. And we'll just send him a few more. I think five ZMG is really all we need. No way he's beating five. I gotta make sure the rest of my money is for myself. Hell, I'll actually get a misdirection cobra here. You know, I'll start I'll start buying these like right away. Because I'm almost positive he wants to uh, counter with uh, BFBs. Yeah, there, there we go. That being said, they are being turned into mobs, so that's not helping my case. Uh, that's fine. Misdirect this guy, man club. Probably don't even need to boost. He's in a bunch of mobs. This is, really is not going to do anything. Um, no, not today. Selling the farm for, for uh, more mobs space. Just want to be extra safe again. He <laughs> he's doing constant fast club mobs. That's not going to do jack. Pog champ boys, we defended this. <laughs> and I'm stealing lives from him, two by two. Let's go. Alright, does he really think these mobs are going to do something? I guess they're a bit stronger now. <laughs> nope, GG. Perfect. And that's what a big money advantage will do for you. But, also, I mean, he made some mistakes besides, you know, like, sinking a lot of money into the semen shooter. That could have been farm money. That definitely would have helped as farm money. Alright, one last game, though. This time I'm not doing mixed eco. I'm just doing straight up eco. I'm going to, like, random towers. Hopefully I don't get dart monkey. Because I want to go non-dart to prove a point. And when I see people going with like non-dart farm strategies, they generally don't do eco right. Some people do it right, but a lot of people struggle to say the least. Uh, ooh, alright, perfect. Stack shooter is good, dartling is good. I actually might go for a primary dartling gun loadout, then get a blade lagstrom if he rushes. Okay, yeah, I can get behind this. Hee <laughs> hee, XD. <laughs> Uh, I think Iceb chooses these emotes. <laughs> he doesn't even know what to say. Uh, please say knife. <laughs> he said knife! Oh my god! He doesn't even know. Oh man. Uh, it feels good when you call the shots like that. Uh, skip Darton's. So, the idea behind normal balloon eco uh, is that you have to be sending income at all times. Um, actually, I think I want to get Darklings here. Darklings at the bottom is a good strategy right now. A lot of people might think at the top is good, but I feel like at the bottom of the screen is just genu generally better. I'm going 0-1 Darkling. But again, for Eco, you want to be constantly sending Eco Balloons. Just like uh, we were in the Mixed Income, sending reds until you could send blues. Sending blues until you can send greens. And we're just going all the way. <laughs> He's face palming because I'm not going Dark Farm. Feels Batman. No parents. So, I mean, he's, you know, still going to defend this. And it's nice of him to put his Dart Monkey in the stalling spot to uh, favor my uh, eco strategy. If he's going farms, he should be putting his Dart Monkey in a place that makes the round shorter. It, it's actually uh, to his detriment that he has the Dart Monkey there. Crazy how that works, eh? Anyway, saving the road spikes in case he sends pinks at me. He might, it's possible. But right now, I'm forcing him to spend all his money on Dart Monkeys. Granted, he could be a bit greedier, maybe boost, maybe just get a... You know, zero one darts and then an extra farm, but nah, 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 nah. He's uh, he's getting that extra defense. I guess he just really needs that solid D. So going with Eco is a bit different. You don't stop at round six like I do with Mixico. You generally want to stop around round eight. Maybe get one decent rush of yellows, but you want to like save up for it. You know, you don't want to just you know drop them a random rush of yellows at you know a small group of yellows. Like it's better off not sending anything at uh, at all in that case. But we have a long way to go. Hopefully we get like 500 income, 550. Uh, it's it's possible. Uh, thankfully, he's not sending me anything. So my 0-1 Dartling can just solo everything. I can just chill and send him some green balloons. Um, you know, I mean, these pinks are probably going to do nothing. But, I mean, you never know. At this point, I might as well. I actually want to, like, save up just a bit of money. Because round 8, I, I don't want to get fucked. Uh, I'm going to just drop him black balloons. He's like, face palm. So, I guess the black balloons, it's like saving up money and sending out eco at the same time, kind of. I don't know. It's probably not the most cost-effective thing. I'm going to send a few more grains. But, uh, round eight... I'm not, I don't think I'm even going to rush around eight, actually. I'm just going to send out a few more greens, 
and I'm just gonna chill round eight. He he can definitely defend a round eight rush. It's literally gonna do nothing. I'm just trying to get income at this point. Uh, we'll see if he rushes me. My zero one dartling with boost should be fine. Um, although I should. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost here. There we go. Perfect. All right, two zero one dartlings are good too. The more the better. It's a family of dartlings. So, and now we just start saving up money because round 13 is a very real thing. That is my main threat uh, as an eco player because I can't sell farms. I have to sell towers if I need the extra money. <laughs> and I mean, that's not good. You either sell towers, you have like extra money saved up. He's trying to get a juggernaut. I think he actually might buy the juggernaut without me sending lead balloons. Maybe. Yeah, he is. Wow. Thank you for doing that. You actually saved me quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> $90. Feels good, man. We'll see if he rushes me though. I'm I'm almost certain he will. He is he has absolutely no idea what I could possibly be doing. Um. So I'm going to get. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep chilling with my dartlings. I, I'm gonna make him rush me. Here's the thing: when you're going eco, you generally cannot rush people. You're just at a disadvantage if you want to rush people, because then you have to sell your towers for the rush. Uh. So you have to assume as the eco player you're just trying to get to late game and basically out survive your opponent. Because the main advantage to going eco, I mean I'm going random, but if you pick out an eco strategy, you'll have one more tower slot because you won't have one taken up with farms. That means you'll generally have a better defense late game and you can win more often that that time around. Ah, so here we go. I'm actually gonna boost this. Screw it. It should defend, right? It should. Oh, maybe not. I'm not gonna die, right? Oh, shit. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it for sure. I, I, I should've been smarter. Whoops. <laughs> uh, get will kill yourself. All right, that, that, you know, besides the whole mistake, I could have gone for the attack shooter, but I wanted to, I wanted to bait him into sending a bigger rush. That obviously did not go the way I wanted it to, but I'm sick. I, I, I don't want to redo this video, so fuck it. We're good. That's how you eco, but better than that. I mean, I was going to random towers too. I'm sure there's like some submarine eco strategy that's actually decent. Couldn't do it on that map, no water, but hey, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully those who ask questions about sending eco, their questions are answered a little bit. The only thing I could have got to is, well, after round 13, then what? Well, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> you're just significantly at a disadvantage if you're going eco. I mean, once you get a defense, you're 100% confident can defend every rush, maybe around round 15 or so. Then, and only then, is it okay to start sending income balloons again. Because you still want money left over. You can't sell farms. You can't just greed. And unfortunately, this kind of game will benefit the farm user in almost every way. So thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.